Yes, for sure. And what we need is more rain. Is there any in the forecast, Rob? And of course, we had some rain that moved in late last night through the overnight hours. But if you take a look at the last 30 days, and this is for Huntsville, so close to Hartsville, you'll notice that uh, 83.6 degrees, again, going all the way back to June 13. That is 3.3 degrees above the long-term average. That's actually the warmest on record for that time period, again, with those records going back to the 1930s, as Grace mentioned. And look at the total precipitation. Keep in mind, this is at the Huntsville International Airport. With a lot of these pop-up storms over the last month, they could miss the airport. But that's down 4 4.1 inches. Again, that was just before that rain moved in after midnight last night, but that was the driest and warmest 30 day period on record. And of course, with the dry conditions and all that heat that just pulls all that moisture out of the ground soil. And of course, it stresses all the vegetation, including all the crops, including the peach trees. But we did pick up quite a bit of rainfall. Again, most of what you're seeing on the map moved in close to and just after midnight last night with a lot of that heavy rain just stalling out right on top of parts of North Alabama. You'll notice the yellows and the oranges on the map. That's indicating closer to two to three inches of rainfall. But if you stay just off to the east of that complex, you've been completely dry over the last 24 hours. DeKalb, not a drop of rainfall. Marshall and Jackson County, a little bit for areas to the west and north. But that's how it goes here in the summer months for North Alabama. We are still dry right now in the Way 31. Storm tracker, early warning, radar network, just some passing clouds. The cold front's kind of draped right along the Tennessee River. We just do not have the instability in place. So I'm just not expecting much in the way of storms here through the rest of tonight. So you'll be able to get a little bit more sleep here late tonight into the overnight hours without the light and, uh, of course, thunder show. Looking ahead to tomorrow, that cold front's parked just to our south, close enough that with highs back up into the low 90s, we could see a few pop-up showers and storms, but not nearly as active as yesterday. So there's a look at future radar. This is 9 o'clock tonight. A few lingering showers and storms, but most of the activity all the way through your Thursday morning and it's your Thursday afternoon. Again, it's draped just off to our south. If we're going to see anything, it's going to be for areas closer to Coleman County, Blunt County, Etowah, and Cherokee County, but everyone else should remain dry all the way through your Thursday afternoon. How about Friday? We still have quite a bit of dry air in place, quite a bit of sunshine. So we are going to make it up to the low to mid 90s for your Friday afternoon, but remaining dry. And again, behind that cold front that's moving through right now, look at the browns on the map. That's indicating that drier than normal air. So we've got a nice drop in the humidity for both your Thursday and Friday. Uh, so a little bit more comfort here if you're spending time outdoors over the next couple of days. But again, it's still hot and sunny, so be careful out there. The Sunday forecast, we do have a 20% chance for rain on Saturday. That same cold front that's parked off to our south tomorrow and Friday starts to drift back in, and it's going to help to trigger storms into your Sunday and into your Monday. You'll notice the best chance over the next seven days coming on Monday with highs still in the low 90s, so really no relief from the heat, but it is July in North Alabama, but we'll just continue this heat that's been in place really now for about five weeks.